dear students let us learn how to find roots or solutions of quadratic equations using quadratic formula so i am taking the question from sslc karnataka board exercise 10.3 second main first one find the roots of the quadratic equation by applying quadratic formula so the question exercise 10.3 second main first one let us learn how to find the roots or the solutions of the quadratic equation the question is 2x square minus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0 first we should uh, we should check whether the given quadratic equation is in the standard form or not so here you can see it is already in the standard form so the standard form is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 now compare the given quadratic equation with the standard form and note down the values of a b and c so the value of a is 2 the value of b is minus 7 the value of c is 3 by comparing the coefficients of x square by comparing the coefficients of x square we got value of a as 2 and by comparing the coefficients of x we got the value of b as minus 7 and comparing the constants we got the value of c as 3 now let us substitute all these values in the quadratic formula so we all know that the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so let me substitute all the values here so x is equal to first we have minus sign so write the minus sign as it is and this we, we are writing from formula this minus sign has come from the formula next we have b so the value of b is minus 7 so replace b by minus 7 so we get it minus of minus 7 then we have plus or minus sign write it same and square root also you write same and then again b value should be replaced by minus 7 so minus 7 the whole square followed by minus 4 into a into c so the value of a is 2 and the value of c is 3 then whole divided by 2 times a so which is 2 into 2 like this we have we have to substitute the values of a b and c in the quadratic formula now let us simplify it so in the simplification first we can simplify minus of minus 7 minus of minus 7 so minus into minus is plus so which is plus 7 then write the plus or minus symbol as it is then square root, square root symbol also as it is then let us write the value of minus 7 the whole square so minus 7 the whole square is equal to minus 7 into minus 7 which is plus 49 minus into minus is plus 7 into 7 is 49 so we can write it as 49 then let us multiply minus 4 into 2 into 3 minus 4 into 2 is minus 8 minus 8 into 3 is minus 24 so 49 minus 24 under the square root divided by 2 into 2 is 4 now further simplification x is equal to 7 plus or minus square root of 49 minus 24 is 25 and divided by 4 and we know the value of square root of 25 which is 5 because 5 5 is a 25 so we get x is equal to 7 plus or minus 
5 divided by 4. Now we have 7 plus or minus 5. So we can write 1 7 plus 5 and another case we can write 7 minus 5. So we get two values of x. So x is equal to 7 plus 5 divided by 4 and in another case we get x is equal to 7 minus divided by 4. So we get 7 plus 5 which is 12, 12 divided by 4, 12 by 4 is equal to 3 because 12 is divisible by 4 for 3 times. So one value of x is 3, 4 1s are 4, 4 3s are 12, so 3 by 1 is 3 by 1 is 3. And then next we have 7 minus 5 is 2, 2 divided by 4, both 2 and 4 are divisible by 2. 2 1s are 2 and 2 2s are 4. So we can write x is equal to 1 by 2. So these are the roots or the solutions of the quadratic equation. So x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 1 by 2. Children, this is my first video. I am posting it in YouTube to help all the students, all the students to score good marks in board exam. So please subscribe to my channel Vijay Academy and like, share and comment. Thank you all. We shall meet in the next video. Thank you so much.